Hey there, everybody, and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in looking at Knowledge Hut to take some kind of an online course, maybe those interested in the PMP examination like I was, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering a review from my experience using the platform. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so jumping straight in, I have the Knowledge Hut website pulled up. I'll actually be pulling up my account. I won't be going through any of their specific content, but I will try to show what I think that I technically can just to give you a general idea of what you can expect. So going through my experiences with Knowledge Hut first and why I chose Knowledge Hut, I was looking for an instructor-led course. I originally purchased a course through Udemy, but I realized that I'm just not the type of person who does well with self-paced learning. I need to be kind of held accountable and A, paying more definitely helps with that. But another thing is just actually knowing I have to show up for a class really helped as well. So you can go to Knowledge Hut and find them a variety of different ways. And as you can see, often by that chat bot or message that popped up, you may be able to get uh, pretty much any time any kind of a discount. I was able to get a pretty sizable discount on my class as well. So general idea about what this entails. So I'm not covering the money back guarantee because I haven't had to actually pursue that because I did pass my PMP exam. But I did want to walk through the general experience with the course. So at least at the time of filming this video, Knowledge Hut is or was a training partner with PMI. Now what that means is basically they've been approved to be an authorized training partner. So I think that there's a little bit more credibility to at least this specific exam. So this review covers my experience with this PMP exam, but I'm sure it can translate into some of the other courses that they have. So first and foremost, what do you actually get with the class and how much does it cost? Well, when you're scrolling through, you'll see one of the last things that you'll see is going to be costs. So you'll see we have self-paced learning here and then instructor led here. I was able to get a pretty big discount on this and you can click schedules to see not only when, but the different breakdowns, because I think at the time of filming this video, they have multi-day eight hour courses or four hour courses and it works with some people's schedule as far as actually like working around your work schedule potentially so you'll see they have tons of different details on all of these different things but we're just going to go over what's covered so you'll see you have 36 hours with live instructor-led sessions now this part is critical for some certifications if they require uh, pdus like professional development units or anything like that then there is 24 contact hours of on-demand courses. I found this incredibly useful. So what I did is I took the course for the day and then I would try to follow it up and pair it with uh, the different on-demand courses. It really helps to solidify that knowledge. And then the rest of this, the general idea for at least what I was taking away is you have mock tests and exam simulations. And then the general ideas, you also have this golden ticket of questions from PMI, which I found to be very relevant to the PMP exam. So overall, that's what you're going to be getting. Now, you may be wondering, what does it actually look like? So I can't show everything about the platform, but I could show you when you log in, you have a PMP class similar to this one. So you'll see my past sessions, I attended all of them, and you'll see the times that were listed here for these specifically. Now, I'm just going to go over a high level overview of the study plan. So you'll see you have self paced training with these different modules here. So these are broken down on a variety of different topics. So just going over the overview, for example, you have these different resources here. There's no assessments in the beginning, but these will typically be videos. You could have some PDF documents, things of that nature. Then when you're done with this, so this is 20 plus learning hours, you go to the study plan. The study plan has additional information and different assessments spread throughout. Now, I'm not quite sure what this additional support one is because nothing actually came up, but it also doesn't impact your completion. Then you have your resources. So you have different mock tests, your golden ticket questions that I previously covered, and then a question bank down here. And this graduation thing just appears when you're done. So this section has 30 learning hours and 10 assessments. Now, all of this is in addition to these sessions here. 
Now mine were done through the Zoom platform, but I'm not quite sure how yours would potentially be set up. So that's just giving you a general idea of how this works and what it's going to look like. You log in, do things at your own pace, except for the instructor courses. Now, a couple of things to be careful for. First and foremost, there are lots of different rules and regulations for classes, and I've done I've looked at reviews online of Knowledge Hut, and I found some people have had concerns about uh, different instructors that change times of the classes or are very strict about when you can join and when you can't. My understanding is that's typically going to be up to the instructors themselves. So I highly recommend if you're going to be taking online courses that you monitor your email very, very closely and make sure that any changes to class schedules are something that you're addressing and are aware of so that you can plan accordingly. So a lot of times, especially if you're trying to get some, like take advantage of the refund policy, for example, typically it'll specify that you have to attend those. So if you aren't able to, then you're not gonna be eligible for the refund in some or most cases. Now, that covers as far as the live portion. I don't think that there's much to cover on the study plan side because this is all at your own pace. You're watching videos, reading materials, taking tests, going to online classes, viewing relevant skill reports and bookmarks and notes and resources. So all in all, I think that this is a really unique platform. So the general idea is when you log in, you have these different points and you earn badges. It kind of treats it almost like a game where you earn more points as you're logging in and performing work and things of that nature. So I think that that can be useful. It just kind of helps to keep you motivated. It's not something like a self-paced platform. There's nothing wrong with platforms like Udemy that offer self-paced guidance, or there's nothing wrong with that type of learning if it works for you. However, it just does not work for me personally. So kind of bringing this video to a close, I had a course, I was about 10 to 15% of the way through on Udemy for the PMP and I just couldn't find the motivation to finish it. So I purchased this class through Knowledge Hut and I was able to successfully pass the PMP exam. Now, this is my only real experience with Knowledge Hut. So I just wanted to make you aware I'm not covering the refund process or anything like that. Just wanted to give you a general overview for the price. I definitely think that it can be worth it. The part of the reason that I chose this platform is the cost for the PMP class is around the cost of the retake. So my plan was pay to take the PMP, take it. If I fail, come back, get my refund from Knowledge Hut and use that to pay for the retake. But again, your plans, um, you're gonna have to kind of feel things out, do your own research, see if this is a good platform for you. You can also check out the different instructors and things of that nature. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.